Welcome back to Girl Talk. Guys, can you believe it? Summer is coming to an end. We're all so bummed out. <laughs> Kids are back to school. It's starting to get colder already. And all of these things make us busier and it makes it tougher for us to stick to our fitness goals. So thankfully, never fear, we have asked Lauren Burkle from Orange Shoe Personal Fitness back to help us out with some of these pointers. So talk to us, Lauren. You're the guru here in fitness, yeah. <laughs> so we need your help as far as sticking to our fitness goals, Absolutely. really. Well, obviously I'm going to say work with a fitness professional. Um, they'll really be there to help you along the way. But um, in general, we want to think about setting SMART goals, so specific, measurable, action-oriented, realistic, and time-oriented goals. We also want to make sure we write those goals down. Um, and then in some way, if it's not a fitness professional or a personal trainer, have someone to be your accountability buddy. Accountability is big. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So SMART was mm -hmm. the acronym. Yep. Mm -hmm. And S was for specific. Yes. And M was for measurable. measurable. Okay, yeah. talk about those a little more specifically. So you want to, when you're thinking about that goal, let's define it with something very specific and measurable. So we know exactly what you're working towards. So if it's a weight loss goal, how much are you looking to lose? Um, if it's, I want to feel better. What does that really mean? How are you going to know when that that's happens? That's really general. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So. So then, we, so then we've got A for action oriented, T for timing, and re oh, let me see if I can spell. <laughs> A. Realistic first. Yes. And then time oriented. Correct. Um, and so all of those kind of meld together, and we talk about um, setting specific steps and making specific commitments to what we're doing. So that's our action piece. Mm -hmm. And then is it realistic? Mm -hmm. You know, if it's a, a huge goal, let's chop it down into some smaller parts mm -hmm. so that we um, can check it off the list so that right. you're moving towards that. And then the time-oriented piece is setting a deadline. So it's, it's one thing to say you want to do something. It's another thing to make the commitment to say, I'm going to do this by December 1st. So I can't run a marathon by this weekend is what you're telling me? Pro well, <laughs> if you've I been training for it, maybe. Right <laughs> yeah. Um, so absolutely, setting those right. um, deadlines and it really helps to create that mm -hmm. action plan. So you want to set those commitments. So absolutely. you have things to check off a list and yep. see progress absolutely. that helps keep you motivated. It's so important because yeah. if, you're, if you're just saying you're going to do something, really getting it going doesn't happen until you make that final commitment. We all have good intentions. Yeah. That's right. And you, Lauren mentioned at the beginning, you mentioned maybe writing it down is helpful. Why does that help us out? Yeah, absolutely. Crazy research out there saying that um, just by writing the goal down, nothing else changes, but you write it down, you're going to be 42% more likely to achieve that goal, which is, I mean, how hard is it to write that goal? Down, hard right? That, right? That's something we can all do. Um, but I think really why that um, happens is because you're um, you're making the commitment and you're setting a clearly defined path and plan for that. Right. Um, and then you know you're also making it public, so mm -hmm. it's it's out there. It can't mm -hmm. just be something in your head that you're thinking about. Right. It's, and when you make something public, you also have some accountability too. Yeah. Right? Yep. And that was that, that last piece. piece yeah. Is Having someone that is going to be there to support you and motivate you, whether it's um, a fitness professional or a significant other, a friend, um, whoever it is, just something that, uh, use Facebook. That's a, a great way to say, hey, I'm going to do this, and pretty soon you're going to get a lot of support. Yeah, absolutely. It's nice to have that. So we know a lot about Orange Shoe Personal Fitness, the small training groups and everything. Is there mm -hmm. anything else that we've got going on for fall? Yeah, you know, we always have our standard personal training and small group training, but um, we have some other really fun things that we have going on. Um, an open house at our downtown studio coming up in um, on September 18th, so come on by. We've got food, drinks, and lots of giveaways. Um, we have run clubs. Those are free for you to come and work out with us um, every Wednesday and every Saturday throughout September, partnered with some other great fitness retailers. Um, we have a prenatal fitness series coming up. Uh, we have uh, happy hips, a hip opening yoga workshop. So all kinds of things that are um, just give our clients and, and anyone out there a, a little opportunity to work with us in some different ways. And you don't need these sweet orange kicks to do it. <laughs> no, orange shoes are not required. <laughs> well, Lauren, thank you so much for joining us and giving us some pointers. Go check out Lauren at Orange Shoe Personal Fitness. They do have three locations. Mm -hmm. And we've got more for you after the break. If you or a loved one is struggling to get out of the home and needs a physician, we're going to talk to visiting physicians coming up. So stick around for more Girl Talk.